hello viewers welcome back to my youtube channel uh it's nice having you back i really appreciate that so in today's video i have a request from the last video i did on how to create multiple users and restricting them from some functions on a dvr so i have a request from that video that I should make the mobile view of that okay so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can do the same thing i did using the dvr on the mobile app so i'm using the word dvr to do this so we'll be using dmss as the war app okay okay so i have with me here i have uh, this tablet here i also have uh, this mobile phone here so i'm going to be showing you guys the procedure uh on how you can do the restriction using the mobile view okay so before i start this class please if you have been watching my video and uh, you're learning something from it don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like my videos and don't forget to comment if you have any question at all you want to ask in any of my videos please drop your comments in the comment section below okay let's start okay so this is my this is my dvr okay this is my dvr here on this phone so we I have another phone here this one by the left so on my tablet is the admin and uh, on my phone is on my phone is the manager okay let me assume it's the manager so i have an account on my phone here which is uh which is nikitis so that is the account that is the username the username is wisdom then the email is naked so i'm going to be sharing i'm going to be sharing this footage i'm going to be sharing this uh uh footage this username e4709 is the admin so i can change the name let me make it to be admin so admin is the ceo okay so i'm going to be sharing admin footage so if you watch admin has the whole cameras okay so if i increase this so have a, a channel 2 has camera channel 2 channel 3 channel 5 and channel 7 okay has cameras so channel 7 right or channel 8 so i'll go back here for me to be able to share this footage with the manager which is wisdom okay let me just make it manager so i'm going to be sharing this footage with the manager and i'm going to be restricting the manager from viewing some of the footage so if i come to me uh okay this is the camera here this is the tv class so i'll just click on these three dots here and go to details device details okay i will see something like uh share this share button here so i'm going to click on it so please wait now there's already an existing user here i'm not going to use that user i'm going to create another user so i'm going to click on this plus sign here and now if you watch the live view is already tick, uh, ticked and is uh dimmed so we can't do anything about it so the live view is compulsory that is using the mobile uh using the mobile scenario remember when we did using uh using the dvr that is the screen uh, method we are able to restrict some live view on these users but in this case the option is uh limited okay so the live view that is the real time uh, video image must be selected so if you watch we can even deselect it so it's already selected automatically okay so that is the different that is one of the difference between this and uh, using the screen to do it that is directly from the dvr okay now the video playback you can either you select all or you deselect it okay 
So you see that we de select everything or we select or remember when we use the screen using the DVR directly, we can select some particular camera for the manager to view and we can deselect some camera. But in this case, it's either you allow the manager to view all your playback or you allow him, you disallow him from viewing those playback. Okay. Now also in the alarm push notification, it's either you allow or you disallow. Okay, so it's just one option. There's no there's no option here in the mobile view for you to be able to uh, like select a particular camera. So you see that all or none. Alright, so even the device control, so you can give uh, the manager permission to view all the controls on the DVR or he should not be able to view all those controls. Okay, so let's just uh, restrict the manager from playing back okay so every other option should be there okay so now the uh the question is enter the target dmss account so you need to create an account first of all just like the way i have on this phone here manager okay so i have an account username is manager okay so username here is manager now If you don't have an account here already, I have a video on my YouTube channel on how to create an account on DMSS. I've already created a video too on how to view your DVR footage on your mobile view using DMSS for that one. Okay, so if you have not watched that video, I'm going to drop the link on the description below. Click on it and see how you can create an account on DMSS. Okay so like i said i've already created an account here so if you watch on me this is manager so i'm going to add this email address here to the manager's tab so that i can share so that the manager can share the feed to the so that the admin can share the feed to the manager so i'm going to add this email to the admin account okay so here that we have on the tablet here that we have a uh, please enter your target dmss account i'm going to type this email here so i have nikitis technology at gmail at gmail.com okay so i'm going to click on okay so you say the shared user will have some operation permission of the device after it is shared should we continue yes if you don't want to continue want to modify your shared permission you can click on cancel but we are continuing here so okay so please wait now share successfully okay so we we'll have to account here that this device has been shared so if i go back to my phone so i go back to the phone here and refresh now you see the feed has come okay dmss would like to find and connect to device on your local network okay so if you watch the feed has appeared here on the manager part so if i click on this play button up here let's see So allow autoplay when not on the same network. I've explained this on that video. So try and watch it for you to be able to view it remotely. So continue. So this is the feeds we have here. I can put it on HD. Okay. So these are the four feed we have on the DVR if you notice from the tab. Okay, so from the tab. So from the tab we have this four view. Likewise here on the phone we have the four view. But remember, we restrict this particular phone, that is the manager, from viewing 
the pass record, right? So if I click on the pass record button, I won't see any record. Now, if you watch at the top here, it said no permission for this DVR. So this uh, manager has no permission to view any pass record on this DVR. So it is written there, no permission. Okay. So that is the way you can still create for secretary and allow secretary or disallow secretary to create that. So using the phone to do this, it has a uh, quite some limitation unlike using uh, your your normal screen to do the restriction okay so that is all about this video uh, remember the using using your screen that is the DVR direct the procedure and the more flexibility is uh is different when you are using the phone uh, scenario okay so thank you if you have any more question you want to ask uh concerning this uh video you can drop your question in the comment section below uh don't forget to like comment and uh subscribe to this channel uh my whatsapp group uh, link is on the description below you can click on it and join experts and other beginners on how to advance on cctv okay thank you guys and see you in my next video